Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. We are back at it again today with some decor hunting. We are finally starting to see decor in the big box stores. And very specifically today, we are headed into Target because I have been given the heads up that the Target near me has a full code orange. They are fully stocked with Halloween. And so we are going to check out what Target has in store for us this year. I am so excited. Even though Target hasn't necessarily been my full cup of tea the last couple years, for some reason, they are still the store that I get so freaking excited when they put out their Halloween. I don't know, there's something about their Halloween section that's just so whimsical and like, I just, I feel like it's Halloween when Target puts their Halloween section out. And honestly, maybe it's because they usually put it out right around my birthday. And so I will always go as kind of like a birthday treat to myself to go buy a bunch of Halloween decorations. So maybe that's it, honestly. But either way, I'm very excited to see what they have. I did do a little snooping online a couple months ago, and there are a couple pieces I'm definitely interested in. But before we head inside, I do want to take a quick moment and talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. One of my big goals this year was to eat at home more, and especially when I've been out decor hunting and I've had a long day, it's really easy for me to just want to swing through a drive through and grab a quick bite on the way home for something quick and easy. But with HelloFresh, I'm excited to actually get home and make dinner because half the work is already done for me. And with more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, I always know I'll be getting something delicious so that I can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 with their quick and easy options. Not to mention the average trip to a grocery store takes 41 minutes. That's valuable decor hunting time. With HelloFresh, you can skip those trips and get everything you need to make a chef curated meal delivered right to your door. Something I really love about HelloFresh is that it lets me try recipes that I maybe wouldn't normally because I don't have to buy a ton of a specific ingredient just to make one meal. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. And that helps us eat more sustainably, which is so important. And the food is delicious. They offer so many recipes to choose from each week and it's it's so nice to help break out of a recipe rut you know when you get in that pattern where you're eating the same like four things every week i have really enjoyed cooking with hellofresh and even my husband who's a pretty picky eater loves the food so if you are ready to try hellofresh for yourself you can head over to hellofresh.com and use my code midgemonster14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's 14 free meals with free shipping with code MidgeMonster14 at HelloFresh.com. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now that we have had a delicious and nutritious meal, let's get back to the hunt. All right, so let's head into Target. I am so excited. Let's go. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got some stuff in Dollar Spot. I've seen this cauldron shelf online a couple times. It's super cute. five dollars be cute to display like some potion bottles or something in and they've got this tree kind of cake stand jewelry dish type thing five dollars this jack-o-lantern votive holder i don't know if these are specifically for halloween these Kind of martini glasses but these are actually really cool this would be great on a halloween bar and for three dollars those are pretty neat they're plastic but like still pretty cool got some green ones back here too like i said i don't know if these are halloween specific but it would definitely fit the vibe and they're super retro looking Got just a couple things left on this side. Got these paper rats. <laughs> I have one of these cloches left for $3. I'm sure you've seen these all over online. I've got these little night owl elixir potion bottles or a dollar and then a couple of these chalkboard shapes the cauldron 
and the fat. Those are three bucks each. There's a little mini potion bottle. Rapid rats. <laughs> and over here we have pillows and blankets. One of my favorite things. These are $10. That's a cute jack-o'-lantern pillow. I love this one. This one says eek. Has spider and spider webs and tassels, and then the back has spider webs all over it. I really like that. And then we've got some different plush throws. Oh, this one's cute. Look at the jack o' lanterns. These are $10, which is a good price, I think. Got a white one. These are both super cute because they have this like retro -y starbursts. Oh my gosh, cute. We've also got kind of like a retro looking kitty cat, very mid mod cat with these different starbursts and things on it. And then we've got a doormat that says trick or treat and a little three jack o' lantern doormat. Both of those are also 10 bucks, which I feel like is not a shabby price for a doormat. Those are really, I like that trick or treat one a lot. Okay, let's go see what else we can find. <laughs> I swear, these are my favorite signs. <laughs> Not so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> We've made it. There were so many amazing things at Target today. I am loving starting right here in the party aisle uh, or party planning aisle, these hand towels. We are seeing so many retro influences in the decor at Target this year. I loved these pumpkins with the starbursts and there was this adorable like little illustrated witch hand towel that says spooky and she's got some little starbursts and uh, I think a skeleton here as well. Yeah with these cute little I mean just very playful and fun but not as like cartoony as it's been in the past. We have some different cookie jars, some uh, cute candy dishes. This was a really cool effect on this ghost bowl. Uh, they did this with a pumpkin last year. These LED blinking eyes are super unique and cool. I love this effect. It gets really fun. And then this candy bowl has little blinking dragon eyes on it, which I thought was fun too. The bowl changes colors, but you can't really tell in this shot because of the lighting. They had some different trays. I remember seeing that Ouija one last year. Some cute little platters here with a pumpkin and a skull. I really like what Target's doing with skulls this year. I feel like they are cartoony, but there's something kind of almost art deco-y about them. I don't know. I, I love that illustration they're using now. And then here we have some kitchen items. These Pyrex were so cute and I wanted them, but I, I double checked and they are hand wash only, which just doesn't seem practical for my life, unfortunately. And they've got some spatulas and things like Joanne usually does, as well as the Nordic wear pan we saw at Michael's. They also had this like loaf pan that was a coffin with a skeleton imprint. I thought that was fun as well. And then they've just got a couple different little baking items, some cookie cutters and these silicone pumpkin, I guess like kind of cakelets or muffins. Now moving into Ghoulish Garden, this wreath is something I've never seen from the Ghoulish Garden line before. And it's got some of the new pieces on it, which include these little lips with the vampire teeth. I thought these were really, really cute. Uh, I don't have any cloche pieces yet, so I was kind of on the fence about this, but I do like it. And they also have little loose pieces, so you could stick these in a flower arrangement or something of your own, which I thought was a, a nice addition to this line. And these, uh, what is it called? They're called like daring, dreadful, dreadful daisies. Those are new this year. And then that um, praying posies colorway is new. Then just moving into some wall art and decor. They've had these door knockers the last couple years. And then this was a piece that I saw online and was interested in. It's the skeleton kind of placard and he does light up and his jaws move. He talks, he says a few different things about like, welcome to the party and love your costumes. <laughs> and uh, this is a, a really fun piece. I, I'm still kind of on the fence about where I would put it, but I do really like it. This was also neat, a cauldron mister. So it's like a cauldron bowl that fog rolls out of and you can 
you know, it casts green light, looks like it's bubbling. So if you do a witch theme, that would be super cool. And they always have, you know, their little target costumed birds, always a treat. <laughs> They've been doing these little kind of vignette pieces the last couple of years where they play music and light up and sing. Um, not really for me, but I think they are cute. And then here's the neon pieces for this year that have the illustrations inside. I do like more, I think, when they just are the neon outlines. <laughs> then they have these different pumpkin faces, but they all do that same thing. They like bounce. I think they were called gigglers, which is a really weird thing I have never heard of, but they were, they were super funny. They, they made me laugh. I'm assuming if you had like small children that those would be really fun. Little haunted mansion action on that welcome foolish mortal sign and a witch parking. These were some pieces that we saw maybe even the last couple of years, definitely last year. They all do like move and speak. And then this was a piece I'm really in love with. I just don't have anywhere to put it. It's a trick or treaters stop here sign that lights up. <laughs> we'll get more into this in a minute. I'm not even gonna talk about the pineapple skull just yet. Uh, these different pumpkins that have uh, faces and things. Now this I was really excited about actually and I'm still kind of mad at myself that I, I didn't get these. There are these metal black houses that you could kind of set up like a, a, a row, a street type thing and then they've got these cool metal cars, a little hearse and then one with pumpkins on top and I don't know I mean they're very simple but there was something about them I really liked I think just that matte black too. You don't see a lot of that. It just looked very minimal, but very kind of rich almost. And this lantern is that same material, this haunted house lantern. It's very, very cool. And for 20 bucks, like not a bad price at all. And then they just had a bunch of their typical kind of garland pieces and like yard signs, different wreaths. These, uh, man, we're seeing more and more bottle brush trees from different companies every year for Halloween, and I love to see it again. It's, it's this retro influence that's really starting to seep into everybody's decor, and I am living for it. So back to this, this skull design. So these were new this year, and I love this. I don't know why, but like the, the high design of the brow and the eye uh, on those new skeleton figures are, are so cool to me. Like I said, there's something almost art deco-y about it. Here we have this $10 chalkboard grave sign. I thought that was cool. And again, just some, you know, front porch welcome sign. This looks very much like the one I got from Joanne this year. And some different yard stakes. There's also this cat wall hanging. <laughs> It's so funny to me. He looks so miffed. <laughs> Even their like spooky hangy boys have that same sculpt on the skeleton face. I find that really, really interesting. They've got the creepy cloths and this was something new I've never seen before. These kind of pewter gold and bronze like statuettes almost i they don't fit in with any of the lines they have going here but they were definitely interesting and of course the reason i come to target every year is for their extreme selection of different jack-o-lanterns this tower was super cool they just always have so many face options to choose from and it's it's such a great place to come fill out your jack-o-lantern you know, needs. <laughs> um, and they're great prices. The small ones are five, these medium ones are 10, and the big ones are 15. Uh, I really, I don't know, I think you can't, you really can't beat that, honestly. So here is a weird thing that's happening, and it is these fruit jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, I don't know if this is because summerween became such a big thing this year, but they really went all out. There's a pepper and a strawberry, and then there's these little fruits. I guess if you like did a 
a tiki, like a tropical tiki type Halloween or a uh, did your kitchen. That could be cute. It's just, uh, <laughs> there was so much of it. I was so surprised. And then we've got a few life-size posable skeletons for $40, which is such a great price for a full-size posable skeleton. Uh, these are like $50 to $80 at other places like Home Depot and stuff. So that was cool to see. We've got a jack-o'-lantern mister, like that cauldron where it kind of fogs and lights up. And of course, they've got a boneyard. They've got a little mini skull bowl thing that's kind of like the one from at home, but uh, definitely cheaper if you're on a budget and it's definitely smaller as well. And then this lantern, I keep seeing this. At Home had one last year. Uh, somebody else, Big Lots maybe? But every time I see it, I'm kind of drawn to it. There's something Tim Burton-y about it, maybe? I don't know. And Target has really, they've done this last couple of years, but their tombstone selection is really starting to go up and up and up. Uh, lots of cool different light up options. They've got some very simple, just, you know, lightweight foam ones. They've got ones like this one here where they are motion activated and they'll play sound and lights. This one has like a step right up kind of, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, and then they've got a whole selection of, some of these are packs of five gra gravestones for like $10 and like, you can't beat that. That's a great price, especially if you're making a whole graveyard. This would be a, a great place. I know they're kind of cutesy, but I think they're really fun. And they've got this, uh, this is what I call the poor man's spooky village. <laughs> they've been doing this the last couple years. I do think the illustration on them is very, very cute. Um, but they are just these 2D kind of cardboard stand-up village pieces with all these little packets you can buy with different accessories and things. But if you're on a budget, this might be a fun way to build a spooky town without paying a Lamax price. I was disappointed to see they only had two pajama options this year, these uh, kind of long john, jack-o'-lantern and skeleton. They do have them for the whole family, including the dog, which is great, but they don't have any of their like cute button-down sets like they normally do, so that was a bummer. And then I found another section that had tons more pillows and throws. This cat pillow was really cute. Um, they had a trick-or-treat throw here, and uh, this little Happy Halloween is cute. They also got a bat pillow, I think, coming up here next that I really like. Yes, this little guy. I thought the illustration on this was super cute, and I've, I've never really seen a, a fun bat pillow 3D like that before, or, you know, die cut like that. And a few more blankets. They've got a trick-or-treat, an eek. And then one with some skulls on it again, which I, I still, I like those skull illustrations. But yeah, overall, a lot to see at Target. All right, everyone. Well, that was an incredibly fun and successful trip. I definitely bought some things. One of my favorite things about Target at this time of year is that they're very like, it's a great place for basics. Like when you need boneyard stuff or jack-o'-lanterns, you need pillows, blankets, that kind of stuff. Staples to pull a look together, Target has you covered. So I think I'm gonna head home and then we can unload, I can show you what I got. We can talk about kind of what we saw at Target and then we'll be done for today. Ah! I do, I have like Halloween feels. It's only 74 right now in Kansas City, which it's not, that's not cool, but it's been really, really hot. So it feels nice outside. And last night it got down to like 57. So I'm very much, I'm like, I'm in the spirit. I got my pumpkin cream cold brew. <laughs> like I am, I am feeling some type of way. Let's get home and look at these decorations. All right, so we are back at home. Let's get right down to the goods here. First and most obviously is my new co-host here. <laughs> You know, Zach Galifianakis' show, Between Two Ferns? This is Midge Munster's Between Two Skeletons. <laughs> no, but I actually do not own a full-size skeleton at all. I've always wanted one, and I saw this guy, and I thought, well, that is just perfect, because 
he's a glam skeleton. This gold, po fully posable, full size, like if I stand his legs up, he's, he's all the way the right size, what? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I loved the gold because if you recall, I bought a lot of stuff last year that was black and gold for this kind of skeleton, 1920s skeleton banquet theme I had going in my dining room. And I think this guy would be a perfect addition to that section of decor, whether I continue to use it in my dining room or elsewhere. I think this is gonna round it out and just really make a big statement. I love this piece and it was only $40, which, for a full-size posable skeleton is really not expensive. Uh, I don't know if y'all have looked into buying yourself a skeleton, but they range anywhere from like 50 to 80 a lot of times. So uh, $40, not bad, especially for one that's like gold and unique in some way. I just, I love this piece. Honestly, I'm thinking about getting another one to make another uh, skeleton lamp for downstairs because I think having a gold one would be really really cool. Because I get asked about it every time, uh, this lamp was made for me by my friend Bethany so uh, this is unfortunately not something you can purchase but it is my absolute favorite thing that I own. <laughs> okay next I got this. Oh plastic's gonna like reflect weird on the uh, ring light but I got this giant tombstone that says touch nothing and nothing will touch you. <laughs> I just loved the size of this and again this was $15 and it's huge. I mean it is just foam but like I don't know overall I was really impressed with Target's prices. Like I don't know if it's just because everywhere else has gotten so expensive but like seeing all these things for like 10 and 15 bucks, I was so excited to shop. I love the detail on this. There's like this bat and a spider web and then these snakes going up the columns and this little like filigree with the skull and wings at the bottom. This is kind of a um, preview of what will be happening in my yard this year. Next, I'm gonna move on to jack-o'-lanterns, which as I said in the car, Target is my favorite place to buy jack-o'-lanterns. Them and like Home Depot um, usually have really, really good jack selection with lots of different faces. And I really try to collect a, a few every year. My jack-o'-lantern collection is starting to get really large and I like to find ones with all kinds of different faces. So I got three today. One of them is this one. I love when they're like tall and skinny like this. And again, this was 15 bucks, which I feel like is a, a great deal. And I like these because these actually are battery operated, so they don't plug in, which is really nice. Um, I have a lot that do plug in, and that can be sometimes a bit of a logistical nightmare figuring out how to, especially if you wanna put them all in one space, like how to run cords to all of your jack-o'-lanterns. So this was exciting that these are battery powered because that's gonna make it a lot easier. I mean, granted, obviously they're gonna run down quicker, but I think it's just gonna make the logistics of what I'm wanting to do with my jack-o'-lanterns this year a lot easier. Again, y'all, we're I've, I've started decorating officially and there will be Decorate With Me videos, I promise. Um, but yeah, I've got some really, really cool projects in the works and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. And then I got two more jack-o'-lanterns. These are smaller. Um, I realized, so I got all my jack-o'-lanterns out actually yesterday and I realized I've always been a really big fan of the kind of like scary face jack-o'-lanterns, like the more jagged, sharp eyes, what I would call like the sleepy hollow scarecrow jack-o'-lanterns. And so I don't really have any ones that look like happy or cute. So I just wanted to kind of diversify my jack lantern faces a little bit. I did get this one, which is still a little scary faced, but it has the more triangular eyes, which a lot of my scary faced ones have like narrow moon shaped eyes. And then I did just get kind of a traditional like happy face buck tooth guy. And these were 10 bucks a piece. Again, battery operated. Um, I'm really, really happy to have a couple smaller pieces. I've, I've noticed that I've started getting like bigger and bigger jack-o'-lanterns every year to the point where it's like, it's too many. It's enough slices. <laughs> okay, so we've got a few more things. Now I'm kind of moving into like homewares, I guess. 
So next I got a couple of throw blankets, which I'm really excited about. This is something I've not really ever participated in in previous years, but um, you might have seen in my last hunting video, I think, I finally got my first like Halloween throw blanket from TJ Maxx. And I like it so much that I wanted to get a couple more. I got these two throws. The first one was this jack-o-lantern, like white with orange jack-o-lantern faces all over it. And this was $10. I really like this. I know I showed you all the ones with like the, the different kind of starbursts and stuff, but I don't know. I just liked this more kind of minimal white and orange. And I like a white blanket because my dog is mostly white. And so this does a better job of hiding his hair. Now I say that, <laughs> but I did get this black throw as well that says eek and has little spiders all over it. I'm just a sucker for anything with spiders or spider webs. Um, so this was $10 also, and they're pretty good size. They're 50 by 60 and they're very, very soft. So these will be my basket blankets so that I have extras when, you know, friends come over or when Taylor and I are snuggled up watching scary movies. I just like to have some extra fun blankets around. So a couple of more things. I did end up getting these orange plastic like martini glasses. And like I said, I don't know. They were in the Halloween dollar spot. I don't know if they were supposed to be there because like the label on them looks like the, they did this like summer line that was like groovy stuff. But this burnt orange is such a great Halloween color. And y'all know I like to do a really cute kind of spooky cocktail lounge vibe on my bar. And I just thought these would be really, really nice to have displayed. They are plastic. Um, they were three bucks. So they're not like super fancy or anything, but for $3, they're very cool and very like retro looking. So I thought these would be a really fun addition to my barscape. And then lastly, this is something I saw on Instagram and I really, really wanted it. I know that Target has done the skull and the pumpkin for the last like two years of these mini waffle makers, but I have never seen them do this spider web one before. And I saw it and I knew I had to have it. I am so excited about this. This was $9.99. It might not be excellent quality. I don't know, but how, like, I'm not gonna use it all the time. But I just thought that was, and like I said, I mean, spider webs. I'm a sucker for anything webs. I'm just, I'm really, really, really excited to do this. I will definitely uh, do it on the channel and you guys can see what the, if they turn out actually looking like the picture. So that is everything I got at Target today. It's not a huge haul, um, but I'm really happy with everything that I got. And I think I really like did a good job of containing myself. There were a lot of things I probably would have liked to have bought, but I definitely wanted to like restrain and make sure that I'm getting pieces I know I can use, filling in gaps in my decor. And hopefully once I'm finished decorating here pretty soon and I can see what all I do and don't have, maybe there'll be uh, still some stuff around if I want it. <laughs> but that is it, your official Code Orange for Target 2021. It has been so much fun today. I'm so, so excited that we got out and got to see it pretty well stocked. Speaking of Code Orange, I did want to just make a quick quick plug for these earrings if you have not seen on Instagram that uh, Sinister Signs and I have teamed up to make my first ever earring merch. So these are Midge Munster official merchandise. These pumpkin code orange earrings with spider webs in the corner. Y'all know I love a statement earring and these are absolutely huge. <laughs> So I just wanted to let you know that they exist. So if you'd like a pair, head over to Sinister Signs Shop. I'll put that link in the description box below. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment letting me know what your favorite piece was you saw at Target today. If you are new here and you feel like sticking around, be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave today. I upload once a week and hopefully I'm looking at uploading at least twice a week as we move into the rest of October. I have so much 
content for you all. I'm, I've been filming, filming, filming. So we're really, uh, we've got a lot to share and not a lot of time to share it. So I'm so excited to start dumping all this content out into the, the interwebs for you. And I do want to say thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Remember that you can get 14 free meals with free shipping by clicking the link in my bio or heading to HelloFresh.com and using the code MidgeMonster14 at checkout. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye! Come out to social.